The Texas Chainsaw Massacre game is a masterpiece and today I show you why. Yo guys what's up and I hope you're having a great day. It has been a long time since I had so much fun playing a video game and in this video I'm gonna show you why we should give more appreciation to this game and the developers who really went out of their way to give us this authentic experience. Let's get it right. The biggest and best decision of the development of this game is the heavy involvement of Kim Henkel who is actually the co-writer and rights holder of the original 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. So this cooperation was made to make sure that when we play this game, it looks and feels like the real Texas Chainsaw Massacre. From the authentic map and character design, all the way to the incredible sound design and voice acting. Let's start off with the map design first. So this game is not just another horror slasher with generic maps, that they just came up with randomly. Gun Interactive was really trying to replicate the actual settings of the movie, give us, the fans of the movie, the most authentic experience. The maps show an incredible attention to detail, paired with a great lightning and sound atmosphere. So I personally find myself a lot just standing in the family living room and soaking in all the details and getting lost in the moment. because everything in the environment feels really immersive and real. The developers even went on field trips to accurately replicate all the plants, the flowers, the trees and even the birds of the movie in that specific area of Texas. And this really shows in the game. Alright, next let's talk about the character design. All the characters were created with the influence of Kim Henkel, especially the new family members Johnny and Sissy. So with the characters, they really wanted a backstory, why and how did all the characters end up in the house of the Slaughter family? And in short, the story goes like this. Maria Flores, a young student, gets captured by the Slaughter family and her sister Anna Flores creates a search party with four of her friends trying to search for Maria Flores. During the process, they also get captured by the Slaughter family and then we start the game with them captured in the basement. I already made a separate video on the story of Maria Flores and if you want to watch it, I'm going to link it right here. So each character has to have different strengths and weaknesses and also gameplay style that fits in with how the character would act in the real world at the time of the movie. All the parts of the character had to fit together, the design, the gameplay and the narrative. And this way they could ground the characters in the timeline of the movie. And for the family members, they wanted to create characters that don't fit in with the family, they needed to be different than the family but still fit in with the theme of the movie. So for Johnny, they even studied serial killers and what motivates them and how they use their looks to get close to people and manipulate them. So John is a pretty boy character. He uses his looks and his charisma to lure in the victims. With his handsome face, he might seem like a nice guy and a womanizer, but deep down, he's a sadistic serial killer. And for Sissy, she got a unique personality, but also a psychosis. On the outside, she seems friendly and sweet, but on the inside, she's really crazy. And she really gives me the chills and the psycho killer vibes. And I really enjoy this character. All right, for the technical design, I'm gonna start out with the superior sound design. So this game got a great overall sound design, but what really stands out the most to me is the chainsaw. The developers said that the chainsaw is the main character in the game. They used the same make and model as in the original Chainsaw Massacre movie. They even 3D scanned the chainsaw to make it look like the original chainsaw in the game. So they really wanted to be as authentic as possible. And to do that, they went outside on a field with multiple high quality microphones from all angles and they recorded the sound of the actual original chainsaw to create this amazing chainsaw sound. And they didn't want to do just one generic sound effect that plays when you're using the chainsaw. So the chainsaw sound is really deep and complicated. If you use the chainsaw in the game, there are multiple layers like a real engine would have with revving, with throttling, acceleration and deceleration. And this awesome sound design with so much love to detail is incredible. And you know what also would be incredible? If you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. This way you won't miss any more videos on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'd really appreciate that. The voice acting in this game is also extremely good. All the voice actors really deserved their pay and they did such an amazing job to give us an authentic and immersive sound experience to really make us feel like we are in the game. I mean, just listen to this. Oh my god! Maria! What did they do to you? They killed my friend! We, we gotta get out of here! And now let's talk about something that impressed me the most. They actually did the motion capturing sessions 
with the real actors of the 1974 movie. So we got Sean Whalen, who played the hitchhiker, Troy Burgess, who played the cook, and Kane Hodder, who's really famous for playing Jason in the Friday the 13th, and he also played Leatherface. And I mean, come on, this movie is so old, and it's so great that they got the actual actors of the movie to recreate those iconic characters of the movie for this game. And that's why the family members are so authentic, from their movement and the behavior, all the way to their voice lines. It feels like the actual movie, and that's amazing. They also got Christina Kleb on board, who's a pretty good horror actress, and she did a really good performance on Sissy. Alright, to sum it all up, the authentic map and character design, the superior sound design, and the great atmosphere make this game feel like an actual movie. They really went the extra mile for us to recreate this iconic movie in digital form for all of us to enjoy today. And if you let yourself immerse into this beautiful and authentic world that they created, then it can get really tense and scary at times. And that's what a good horror game is all about. It makes you feel anxious that every step could be your last, creating awesome gaming memories. And that's why I love the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below which parts of the game do you enjoy the most. I hope you enjoyed this little background on the development of the game. And if you did, mash that like button and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. i see you guys in the next one. Peace.